And I have a feeling that a lot of people are thinking that, okay, this event is kind of over now. Let's mm -hmm. move. And it's not the case. It's not the case at all. I'm going to show you some stuff right now that will prove that to be the case. Real tough times ahead over the next few hours, especially for some spots that have already been very heavy, heavily hit. Right now, outside, you have a cloudy sky over New York City. It's 71. Your high temperature today, one degree below average, you hit 75 degrees average, 76. What do you expect? Well, it's cloudy today, cloudy tonight, cloudy tomorrow morning, but it'll be a sunny afternoon. And then it's a beach day on Sunday. And if you want to go to the beach or do some boating, eh, be careful in our oceans because the seas will be rough because of Sandy. Now getting into next week, it's unsettled for that first half, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all because of Sandy, uh, or because of Florence, excuse me, all because of Florence. And Florence could give us rain that, on, that is on the heavy side by the time it gets about Tuesday or Wednesday. So here's your weekend forecast. Again, cloudy maybe to start Saturday morning, Saturday and Sunday, good looking days, 78 Saturday, 81 on Sunday. Our skies, we're doing okay. Yes, there's cloud cover out there, not super high top clouds, but there's cloud cover. Uh, that's going to break up tomorrow afternoon. We do not see a rain chance in our area from this point forward until we pick up whatever is left of Sandy. Because here's the deal. High pressure system over our area. This is one of the things responsible for really making, uh, making Florence Oh, I got Sandy down in my head for that last story. Florence is crawling because of this high that's giving us a nice weekend. Well, that high is going to get out of here by the time you get to Monday. That opens the door, and that's when whatever is left of Florence slides into our area. Now, let's get a little tighter on the storm right now because this is a bad scene. Okay, wherever you see these red circulating arrows, Doppler indicated surface rotation, another word for a tornado, right? Uh, it's very tough to document these, okay, because, A, you can't see them. They're enshrouded in all the cloud cover in the in the storm itself and also the inspectors who typically want to inspect stuff like this think about the debris they're walking through to try to pick out whether something was tornadic it, really tough i will say you see this area right here this long strip of very heavy rain and heavy winds coming right over the same area around the noose river that had a, a, a surge today of 10 feet well it's now coming in as you approach midnight that's their next high tide i think that's gonna be a bad i think it's gonna be a bad thing with a storm surge i think in that area of maybe four to nine feet. I mean, they had 10 feet earlier today. Could even be more than that. 78 and 81 for the weekend. We talked about how it's going to be nice around here. 79, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is a time period that you're looking for any effects of Florence. I think it's most likely Tuesday going into Wednesday. One to three inches possible in New York City and maybe a three to five plus range north of the city. So this is not light little remnant sprinkles. It is remnant rain. There's no big hurricane or tropical sure. storm force winds. Quite a bit of rain. Quite a bit of rain. Yeah, you bet. A lot to watch. Thanks, Thanks Lonnie. Lonnie.